It's as quick and easy as scanning our shopping. But are electronic tags like these the future of cattle farming? The Scottish government is launching a consultation on plans to fit all newborn calves with these EIDs. Anything that makes life easier and allows you to capture the data that you need as a farmer is going to be a, a benefit. Um, but I think the important thing from the government's point of view is that the industry gets absolutely involved in the consultation. It's got to be industry red. You know, if, the, if the industry don't buy into it, then we don't get the kind of success that we're looking for. So um, we need the industry to get involved so that we know exactly what it is that we want to deliver. Here at Upper Nesbit Farm outside Jedburgh, Robert has been using these to keep track of his herd since 2007. So low frequency uh, was initially what we started with here, but the, the problem with low frequency is um, the chips are not that big. Memory, you, can't, you can only store a certain amount of numbers. UHF high frequency has got more capacity, more memory. You can store medicine records, you can do movements. The, the list is endless to what you can store on that tag. But we're needing to mandate this and, and make it more... Um, take the chore out of handling and working with cattle. It benefits not just the farmer keeping track of his herd, but also helps prevent the spread of disease and improves health and safety on the farm as well. No surprise then that NFU Scotland is in favour of EIDs. It's far safer, health and safety, you can read them from a distance. We've got 100% read rates, consistently 100% read rates with ultra high frequency for animal health and welfare, um, for disease control, all these things, the benefits that UHF can bring. Quite often it's actually uh, through no fault of our own, making genuine mistakes. If you write down, if you see 865 and you write down 856, you maybe thought you've written the right number, but that can actually be a real cross-compliance issue when it comes to an inspection. Whereas if you're using digital technology, what you see is what you get. Again, that's the difference between ultra high frequency and low frequency. On the surface, it seems like a win for safety and simplicity. But the purpose of the consultation, which runs until the end of June, is giving farmers the chance to raise any concerns they have about this technology. Isla Todd, ITV News, near Jedburgh.